But this time, well, last year, was the first time we had a black female anchoring the Rugby World Cup. Yeah. I mean, that for me is absolutely fantastic, huge. March. It's huge. Um, young girls who never dreamed of going into rugby now look at you and say, March, do it. I can mm. do it. How important is it for you to make those strides in rugby? And what are the challenges that you face? Well, as beautiful, isn't it? You come to work and do your job. And, and just because you showed up and have the opportunity and the platform, you've now made it possible in another person's eyes, in another mm -hmm. child's eyes. And, and I love that sentiment that was created around the final, that it's possible now. Yeah. You can be anything that you want to be in the world. The challenges are many, you know. Um, we have issues just of uh, the number of women getting into the space, mm -hmm. but we work in a place that really advocates for more females, yeah, not just in front of camera, but behind, behind the scenes as well, as well which is yeah. always great. It's always just the feminine touch is so is so Gorgeous. different, and it brings a different vibe to the, to the sport as well. But but I think also just you, you've got to take them in your stride. Yeah. Nothing is ever going to come easy, especially when you're pioneering in a space or you are just among the first to do it. You, you're going to step on some rocks, but you're paving the way, you know, yeah, you're making it clean for those that are going to come behind you. And I think we also found it a little bit better than those, the women that have gone before us. Absolutely. Yeah. Where would you like to see your brand go in 2020 and beyond? Because you've done so much already. Bigger and better, you know. We gotta, we've got to step it up, um, move into... For me personally, what I want is for other people to be able to flourish because I was, you know, to, to be able to give back, but also to develop people. Because it's one thing to give you money to go and study, but uh, am, I, uh, am I interested in your mental well-being, you know, your physical well-being? Am I, am I, am, you've got to impart, you can't just give someone an opportunity, you've got to really mold people. So that's where I think um, my mind and my heart is headed. Uh, but to be the best to ever do it, the best among the world, that's definitely number one. Mart, you and I worked together many, many years ago, and I remember we were both really young in the radio space and really trying to figure out what our journey yeah. was going to be, and you never faltered. You always knew you wanted to be in sport. And mm. what I love about your journey of success is that you weren't willing to take the jobs that weren't as glamorous because you knew what the end goal was. Yeah. You yeah. always wanted to be a sports presenter, but you're like, I'm gonna earn my chops. You were mm. news reading before work, you were doing yeah. sport. Yeah. Yeah, but that was yeah. the passion and you, you earned your chops, you, you worked the steps of the industry and I feel like people can take more messages and learning notes from your career and your journey and the steps of sometimes it's not going to be glamorous and yes. sometimes it's just putting in the work all the time. How do people vote for you? Well, I, I just want to add to that, you know, guys, don't despise humble beginnings. Yeah. Don't despise starting at the bottom because we I got better with every production, 100%. you know. So the more I, I, I got to do it, the better I got. And I, I, don't, I feel like we, we, we have this notion that we arrive and, and we go. Mm -hmm. And it's not like that. Laying foundation takes a lot of time. But if your foundation is solid, the house will always stand. So 100%. don't despise humble beginnings. How you can vote for me? Okay. Oh, so yeah. da -da -da -da. Um, so you just taste 2A to 39201. Um, there's the DSTV app, and then there's online as well. And uh, there's one more um, you can USSD. Star 120 star 33033 hash. Yes. yes. That's the one that the oldies in the Mohono family absolutely love. They're like, hey, we'll be voting. Hey, prompt. Number one, number one. Who voted it?